St. Pete IndyCar, Bourdais win season opener from back of the grid. Sebastian Bourdais won the Grand Prix of St. Petersburg, passing reigning IndyCar champion Simon Pagenaud to win the opening race of the season from the back of the grid. Having crashed in qualifying, which meant he started 21st, a perfectly constructed strategy from Dale Coyne Racing and a helpful sequence of yellow flags played into Bourdais' hands. He outbraked Team Penske's page not at turn 1 on lap 37, and drove a superbly controlled race from the front thereafter. Page Nod, who started back in 14th, was also fortunate with the way the yellows fell. He finished second, ahead of Ganassi's Scott Dixon. Pole sitter Will Power suffered a disastrous race, including a pit penalty for driving over his air hoods. Bizarrely, he was eventually black flagged for driving too slowly in a vain attempt to make the finish. Story of the race Immediately before the start, Ryan Hunter Ray ducked into the pits with a problem with his car rebuilt from the morning shunt. He would continue to pit in the early laps but so distorted would this race become that it wouldn't take long for him to get back into contention for a top 5 slot. From pole, Will Powers Penske Chevrolet made the better getaway and took the lead as James Hinchcliffe's Schmidt Peterson Motorsports Honda jumped Scott Dixon's Ganassi Honda down the inside to take second at turn 1. But behind there was some carnage. Graham Rahal took a deep outside line to go around the outside of Charlie Kimball's Ganassi entry, which gave him the inside line to turn 2 but the Rahal Letterman Lanigan racing driver seemed unaware that Kimball was still on his outside and squeezed him into the wall inside wall which bounced Kimball across the track and into Carlos Munoz who he pancaked against the wall. All three made it back to the pits for repairs. Mikhail Aleshin also pitted with apparent damage, while J.R. Hildebrand and Ed Jones followed suit to go off strategy, and Helio Castro Nevis had to do the same having picked up debris from Rahal's car. On the restart on lap 6, Hinchcliffe took the outside line of turn 1 to grab the lead from power, followed by Dixon, Takuma Sato's Andretti Autosport Honda, Tony Cannon's Ganassi car, the second Penske of Joseph Newgarden, Alexander Rossi, Andretti, Max Chilton, Ganassi, Simon Pagenaud who had therefore already made up five spots from his grid slot, and Spencer Piggott in the top Ed Carpenter racing Chevrolet completing the top ten. Piggott was under intense pressure from Marco Andretti who was chased by Sebastian Bourdais who was already 12th from 21st on the grid. On lap 9, Piggott dived down the inside of Page Nott at turn 10 to grab 9th and the following lap the American sophomore passed Chilton for 8th. By lap 12, Hinchcliffe's lead over power was out to 4 seconds, while Dixon was around a second behind power, with Sato, Cannon, and Newgarden similar distances behind. However, Newgarden was now needing to watch his mirrors, as Rossi pressured him for sixth and Piggott closed in on the pair of them. Power ducked into the pits on lap 14 very early to swap from red tires to blacks, but it was a disaster when the front right man left his wheel gun on the Petroid and Power ran over it as he left his P-box. He was assessed a drive through penalty and resumed in 18th, last car on the lead lap. Up front, Dixon cut into Hinchcliffe's lead so that it was 2. 7 SEC on lap 20, as the Ganassi driver also pulled away from Sato. One of Dixon's teammates was going in the opposite direction, however Cannon, losing rear grip, was dropping down the field, losing out to Newgarden and Piggott who was now in 5th. Rossi tried to follow through at the hairpin on lap 23, Cannon closed him out, but only held him back for one more lap before the reigning Indy 500 champ was into sixth. At this point Bourdais and Daly ducked into the pits and soon Cannon, Pagenaud, and Andretti followed suit. However, the full course yellow flew on lap 26 for extensive debris at turn 4, when Cannon emerged from the pits and, desperate to hold his line, squeezed too hard on Mikhail Aleshin, ripping up the right rear of the Ganassi car, and shattering the front left wing of the schmidt peterson Honda. This caution period of course worked out disastrously for those yet to stop, including Hinchcliffe, Dixon, Sato, Newgarden, Rossi, Piggott, Chilton. As pit lane opened, 
these seven cars along with the crumpled cars of Canon and Alessian and the delayed but repaired car of Rahal headed pit lane. Sadly after a brilliant start to the race, Piggott's race effectively ended in pit lane as the overheating left rear brake rotor exploded his rear tire in the P-box and the ECR crew set about rebuilding the rear braking system. The restart would see Pagenaud, Borde, Andretti, Jones, Hildebrand, Castro Nevis, Hunter Ray, Power, Daly in front, with Hinchcliffe leading the recent stoppers. Peculiarly, Dixon had no acceleration out of turn 12 and dropped to 14th, while nearer the sharp end, Power passed Sato and Hildebrand to grab 6th. Daly and Hunter Ray banged wheels and after taking the shortcut through turn 3, Daly had to cede his spot to RHR. Rookie at Jones passed Marco Andretti for third on lap 32, so that he was headed only by Pagenaud and Dale Coyne racing teammate Bourdais, who could stay within a second of the reigning champion who was trying to save fuel. Behind these three ran Andretti, Castro Nevis, Power, Sato, Hildebrand, Hinchcliffe, Hunter Ray, Daly, Newgarden, Rossi, Dixon, Cannon, Chilton with Alessian the last man on the lead lap. At the start of lap 37, Bourdais dived down the inside of Page Knot at turn 1 to grab the lead to give Dale Coyne a 1 to 3, and the four time champ car title winner swiftly pulled a 3 second lead on the Penske driver. However, were the race to run caution free to checkers, Sato was currently looking in best shape, with only two more pit stops to make and two more laps of fuel than Page Nod. Dixon passed Rossi for 13th on lap 42 to start trying to get back into contention after his disastrous restart, while the firmly off strategy power pitted on lap 47. This time all went well but the stop dropped him to 17th, albeit still on the lead lap. Page Nod was given the green light to lay some quick laps and he responded with fastest lap and carved into Bourdais lead to draw within a second of him by lap 48. At this point, Dixon pitted, while Hunter Ray edged back into the picture, and in convoy with erstwhile leader Hinchcliffe they started getting aggressive and swept past Hildebrand on lap 50, daily following suit a lap later. Struggling for rear grip, Hildebrand pitted along with Castro Nevis and this triggered a full round of pit stops as Andretti, Hinchcliffe, Newgarden and Daly stopped, and the following lap Hunter Ray and Jones did likewise. On lap 54, Bourdais, Page Nod, Rossi stopped, the latter having a long front wing adjustment, and on lap 57 Sato ducked out of the lead for his own stop. Bourdais was now back on strategy but would he have the pace to run up front? He was 4 SEC ahead of Page Nod, with Power 3rd, off strategy, and 1 1 SEC back, with Sato 4th, Jones 5th, Andretti 6th, with Castro Nevis, Dixon, Hinchcliffe, Hunter Ray, Rossi, Newgarden, Chilton, Cannon, Hildebrand, daily completing the top dozen. Bourdais, having been told not to worry about fuel saving, had a lead of 7. 5 SEC by lap 68, while Power was in the opposite camp desperately needing to either save fuel or hope and pray for a long caution period. As Sato continued to close on him, Jones in fifth started falling into the clutches of Andretti who himself had Castro Nevis, Dixon, Hinchcliffe and Hunter Ray close behind, all running within a second of them. This order would alter on lap 75, with Dixon passing Castro Nevis for seventh, and Hunter Ray passing Hinchcliffe for ninth. Power pitted on lap 77 and grabbed a set of new red alternate tires, and emerged in 12th, just ahead of Cannon. Meanwhile Rossi's team had radioed to say he had a small leak from his left front tire and he was called in on lap 79, and like Power, went for sticker reds. Dixon ducked into the pits on lap 80, as soon as he hit traffic, and emerged behind leader Bourdais, as Castro Nevis, Jones, Hinchcliffe, Daly, Andretti, Bourdais all followed his example on lap 81. Alas it was a disaster for Sato stopping when a right front wheel gun jammed and he fell down the order. The Penskys of Newgarden and Pagenaud stopped a lap later than Bourdais, but this served Pagenaud little, as when he emerged he was still more than four seconds behind compatriot Bourdais. Power ran third but seemed destined to have to make a splash and dash. 
Instead, curiously, his team elected to leave him out on track but trying to achieve an impossible fuel number. He tumbled down the order and was eventually black flagged for running too slowly. In no such trouble, Dixon charged on to finish third albeit almost half a minute down on the winner, while Hunter Ray sliced past new teammate Sato on the final lap to grab fourth. They were followed home by Castro Nevis, Andretti, Newgarden, Hinchcliffe, Jones, and Rossi completing the top 12. Up front, Page Nod could make no impression on Bourdais, instead falling away and finishing 1-0 SEC behind. From a disastrous practice and qualifying session that had resulted in 14th on the grid, Page Nod had done a great job to salvage runner-up finish. It looked slightly less so when put in the context of Bourdais winning from the very back of the grid.